Well, I'm back on the boat. I got through the first night. That's always tough because uh, coming back to Panama because it's so much hotter here than it is in South Carolina, which is, you know, where I came from this time. Well, you don't get to bed early. You know, I, I was probably 1130 when I got to bed just because it's so hot and it takes a while for it to cool down. First night, you're, 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 you're overheating anyway. And then it rained at like 2.30, so I'm jumping up and closing all the hatches and stuff. I, I, I made my breakfast this morning. It was uh, it was some hash. I'm, I, I'm a sucker for the hash. It's it's easy to cook in the jet boil, but you have to clean it. And what, you know, one of the things on a small boat, I, I cut my little uh, scrubbers into these tiny little rectangles. And uh, so this is what I'm cleaning my jet boil, boil with. And when they get tired, they lose their abrasivity. Just get a new one, you know. But, I, you know, you, you have to do the dishes, man. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. <laughs> this jet boil. And uh, right now it's full of water because it was soaking. So I'm going to go pour this out. I just pour it into the toilet. And we'll put a little water in there and put a little soap in there and just to give it a real, and I'm pretty careful, like, see, that's not a lot of water. I don't, there's only a little bit of water on the boat, so I have to be pretty careful about conserving water and uh, it's a habit, you know, so. This is the best spoon ever. It's a silicone spoon and silicone doesn't melt on the uh, jet boil. You can, I've used this for two years. I use it for cooking and I use it for eating. And uh, <laughs> I bought it at REI, you can get them in there. They're fantastic, actually. I'm a huge fan. Jet boil is not in use. It's stored out of the way right here. And I usually put a put the cover on it just to keep bugs and stuff out of it while it's waiting. Alright, so I just got a call from my friend Curtis on Motor Yacht Summer Breeze. Now you might remember him from Chiapas. I did an episode. Uh, where we took it out of Chiapas, went offshore, uh, pumped his holding tanks and came back in. But actually, we're going to do something much cooler in this episode. We are going to go through the Panama Canal on Motor Yacht Summer Breeze with Curtis and his son, Sam. And as I was leaving the marina, I stopped at the cruiser's lounge and I got to meet Dietmar for the first time. Well, Dietmar, he's the founder of the Panama Posse now known as the Ocean Posse. Yeah, he helps a lot of cruisers down here. It's nice to meet him. So I boarded the bus and headed towards Playita Marina, Panama City. Okay, I'm at Marina Playita. Oh yeah, there's Curtis. And on the way down the pier, we met Luis. Yeah, Summer Breeze's neighbor in a Nordhaven. Oh, yeah, this is a nice boat. Where you have the water filter. They didn't say water maker. But down there, yeah, so we have to do all kinds of bullshit to get to our engine room. It's nice to be able to yeah. walk right oh, in. Right you would see in a moment. It's pretty sweet. There's a, <laughs> there's a big edge. Well, it turns out that Luis and his father are from Stuttgart, Germany, the same place Curtis was born. So they presented Curtis with a shirt from the local Stuttgart football team. Oh, Stuttgart was? That's, yeah, that's, I don't know what the odds this are. This is freaking great. Louis, thank you so much. Oh, this is awesome, cool. Dude. You're welcome. 
Yeah, we'll be here for a couple days, man. We'll have to come mm -hmm. over here and, and kick it or mm -hmm. something, man. Catch up. Yeah, Paz was asking, by the way, that's what he was dinging. Oh. I don't know what time we wanted to go to dinner. I said, Rick just got here. And we're taking the tour of the guy's boat next door. <laughs> so we'll get back to you in a minute. Well, Luis is a cool dude for sure, but it was time for us to head over to Flamenco Marina for dinner. <laughs> well, we were going to end up eating here at Bucaneros, but we needed to walk around a little bit. Let's check out the lay of the land. No, I think they are from here. Well, what do we have here? Oh. Polaris slingshots. So we met up with Kurt's friends, Larry and Beth, and made our way to Bucaneros. Well, many understand buccaneers and pirates to be one in the same, but buccaneers were often state-sanctioned privateers, while pirates were independent, lawless raiders. And Bucaneros has all the history right here. Well, Buccaneers were a distinct group of seafarers active primarily during the 17th century. Centered in the Caribbean, they originally emerged as settlers on the islands of Tortuga and Hispaniola, where they hunted wild cattle and pigs, smoking the meat on wooden frames known as boucans, from which their name derives. Over time, these settlers transitioned into maritime raiders. After learning about the buccaneers, we got to enjoy this awesome harpist. guys are going to be in tonight, six, seven-ish, I'm thinking, somewhere around there. Uh, what are all they going to do? I don't know. Uh, they'll probably go ahead and set the fenders on the uh, port side and get those ready to go. They may even hook up the lines and have them ready to go. Uh, and then they're going to try to figure out where they're going to sleep. Mm, good luck. But there's a lot of room, so they say not a problem well sam and curtis are prepping summer breeze to get underway we're hitting the fuel pier this morning curtis just lit off the main so uh but we're not getting underway for the canal today uh it, it'll be tomorrow morning at like four in the morning but right now yeah summer breeze get some fuel In the end, she took about 253 gallons. With full fuel tanks, we shoved off from the fuel pier and returned to the slip.
Flamenco Signal Station, Flamenco Signal Station. This is Summer Breeze. The Flamenco Signal Station on VHF Channel 12 coordinates vessel movements and provides essential information for a safe and efficient transit. Vessels are directed to establish communication the evening before their scheduled transit to confirm details and receive any necessary instructions. Summer Breeze. Pilot time tomorrow, zero four zero 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 four zero zero. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Frogs Leap. Be sure to subscribe to be notified when new episodes drop.